teachers should ensure that any video used has been reviewed, aligns with course standards, is appropriate for students, and follows the local school supplemental materials policy. Once logged into the portal and District G Suite account, employees can click on the app launcher and choose the YouTube icon to open YouTube. When employees access YouTube from their GCPS account and open a video, they will see a message below the video window. If the message says watchable by gwinnett.k12.ga.us, then teachers can provide the video link to students, and students will be able to watch the video. If teachers search for preview and determine that a video is appropriate for use with students as part of their lesson, but it does not have this message, teachers can add the video to allow access. When the message below the video states, Video not approved for gwinnett.k12.ga.us, teachers will see the option to approve on the right side underneath the video. Once this is clicked by a teacher, the video will be added to the approved list. This means that teachers can provide students with a link to the video. Here, we see the same video, but the link has been opened by a student account. Students can now watch this video, and no suggested videos appear to the right. Any student in GCPS who has provided the link to this video, which has been approved, will now be able to view the video.